All right, howdy friends, uh, Josh Man back here. Uh, something uh, was uh, pretty important to me. I wanted to kind of share with uh, those who may be curious, who may have heard, or, or those who, especially who haven't heard about uh, the Climbing Innovations newest version, uh, Richard Mumford's newest version of the uh, Hitchhiker. It's the uh, Hitchhiker XF. Stands for extra friction because it comes with this little, uh, this little plug which I believe is like an anodized aluminum, but uh, you can uh, adjust, you can put extra friction by, uh, you know, however tight you want it on your rope and it will take, uh, it can either just like lock a person in place for whatever reason they want, or uh, uh, it takes, uh, during long descents, you know, like you can just pop this little sucker on there and it takes, see I can kind of break my uh, hitch almost all the way open and it's like, uh, it's got a lot of bite, so it can save uh, the life of your hitch cord. That's pretty much uh, like what the XF uh, stands for. And uh, that's a cool little feature. Uh, it's not really uh, necessarily what sold me. That is the selling point for me, but what sold me a little more so uh, on this device was the eye. Is this version, uh, my version, it has the, the fixed eye. But uh, it, it can come uh, with just a standard uh, swing arm that's like with, with no eye. It'd basically just be cut this, this eye off. Uh, I'll put an image there. So how it comes. Uh, so there you would use, with that version, you would use like uh, the Rock. He sells it, I think, with a Rock Exotic uh, Omni Block. That so you could like put, put that, since it's midline, directly to your climb bridge. Since that opens up. Or you got the Rock Exotic, uh, the Swiva Beaner, I think it's called. Uh, it has the little uh, eye that you would you would slip over this, and then it's got the carabiner, so you could kind of clip. Basically similar to what I have going on here, but uh, I wanted the eye because uh, that's this is basically the whole thing. Uh, what sets this apart from the other versions and uh, and other devices is like this is the uh, anchor point, uh, the tending point for uh, SRT, and also this is your MRS anchor point. So again, which uh, if you were to buy the other version, you would use uh, that whatever eye device that's there. That would be uh, your other port, part of your uh, MRS connection and obviously the main anchor. But I just love how this is all in one. Uh, so when I first got it, I put a uh, Perfecto. I put a Perfecto with a corner keep right there. Uh, and then uh, another uh, Perfecto on there for mrs but they're just the profile of them are a little bit large a little bit large so they would uh con they would have there was a little bit of conflict at times with the noses they would kind of grind each other a little bit i didn't like that and i felt especially felt like uh during cold weather that couldn't that'd probably be a uh you know a no-no you don't want any extra like weird goofy forces in there so uh, uh anyways i did a little bit of thinking what could work because I wanted to also keep this sort of like a small profile and I missed my uh, swivel or well that I used with the Hydra at first uh, again I didn't like that setup so uh, I uh, tried it the way Richard Mumford recommends uh, which is just directly onto your rope bridge but uh, I, a handful of climbs like that I didn't like that that much because you have to do undo the slick pin you have to undo the slick pin and take the device like if you want to pass a union or whatever uh just on and off uh, i didn't like that i missed uh being able to just detach with the carabiner so here uh you know fast forward we have our uh solution which is a dmm uh, director carabiner it's got the swivel action it's midline you know you can take that apart with an allen uh, there's a, there's a safety like set screw and an allen and they give you an extra nylock uh, nut so because when you take uh, technically i think it's you know it's like used when they send it out so or i mean the nylock nut has now had one use on it when they send it from the factory so technically you shouldn't reuse that one that comes on there so they send you an extra one in case you have to disassemble it so that's what i did i just used the extra one this is a nylock but this has been beautiful i love this setup I got this uh, device. Uh, I saw this 
Oh, I saw this uh, at TCIA 2021, the prototype that was on Richard's harness. Uh, he was there and uh, showcasing that and among his other products. And then uh, there was like some 3D printed models there. And uh, when I saw that eye and just how like versatile that is, uh, I, I just knew I had to have it. Here, let me select the system. And uh, you can see, hopefully there's a notch in there. And that's what... Uh, his intentions when you're tending uh this kind of this comes up and the notch like sort of it's just it welcomes that eye there or whatever on your other it's still there on the other version of this device with a traditional swing arm but that like brings it in line brings it in line and it tends so beautifully uh oh, it's amazing smoothness oh well, you may be wondering here too like well you you have a swivel so you didn't need you know uh, I uh, actually do. Uh, I prefer I prefer the friction that uh, using a swivel sideways like this gives. It's not as fast as a pulley like the Hydra or the Rook. You know, it, it uh, just rolls. It, it rolls still very smooth, but like it gives you enough to where it feels uh, feels good. I like that. And then basically, if I want to switch over uh, with my lanyard, if I want to take my lanyard over and uh, do like a little short MRS system then that's how this that's how I'll rock that you know that way that's sort of free that's free to pivot and I can still have you know and, and if a person wanted to they could technically uh, join a second device in there but it's like this is this is a beautiful system for me I like that an adjustable bridge with the CT rolling lock too I like to just kind of snug it up pretty good and the only time I really uh I just open that up to uh, step out of the harness but anyways back to our device like I said uh this thing uh blew me away uh, I climbed on the hitchhiker 2 briefly when I first got an SRT and I did not like the way that tended it was way too much uh, way too aggressive because it was more uh the friction with that carabiner that rolled through there instead of a slick pin carabiner it really bit the rope and it was tough tending uh, srt i was new to srt so i was clunky to begin with with it so it was all unnatural but then mrs too i hated uh because it was way too much friction and so that little bit i was a little bit nervous about this one that there was going to be way too much friction to do mrs and i still uh even though i do a lot more srt now i still love mrs because like for crane work you know you get hoisted up and you either uh whatever do like put a sling and then you uh, zip on down on your attachment point or uh, you get set into a tie-in and just real quick uh, natural crotch drt mrs come on down uh you know and make your cut uh and just whatever i, I still use it quite a bit and then that's what here we are technically uh i uh i advanced my way up the tree uh mrs and then i installed my u saver up there and uh this just uh this device completely uh, blew me away i fell in love with it when uh, how, how smooth mrs does and we'll, we'll do a little we'll show you that but i kind of wanted to first show it on srt and how uh let me see See if we can kind of show you a little bit how uh, how smooth she tends uh, in SRT. Just kind of uh, monkeying around or whatever, spurring spurring up a tree or whatever. Uh, coming up, just like it's just so it's so responsive and uh, very minimal. Like it just grabs immediately when you tie the hitch. Uh, which is a Catalan. I tied the one that he recommended uh, with six wraps. Uh, so you can uh, experiment. Like uh, this is a Teufelberger Epicord 9.3 millimeter. Uh, he sends four hitch cords, which is awesome too. Another selling point. So uh, the cool part is Richard sends uh, four different hitch cords with each uh, each unit you buy. I believe uh, Marlowe this one is a marlow boa i think uh 10 mil or something then you got an 8 mil marlow viper cord this is probably my favorite second favorite and then uh this rit sterling rit nine mil nine and a half something like that nine whatever one of them goofy off sizes 
I think it's nine mil IRT. And then this is another like eight mil Sterling, I think. Don't get me, uh, don't quote me, but I believe it's another Sterling. Four hitch cords, so basically no matter what rope you have, you're gonna be able to, uh, it's a nice selection of cords. You're gonna be able to find a match to, a, to any rope really. And then of course you can, you're free to, like I bought some uh, 10 feet of, uh, to make a couple cords of Epicord. You know, I like it, how smooth it is. But, uh, so very pleased with the, ten, uh, the tending of this device. Both uh, during rope walking and just manually tending by hand. <clears throat> and peep this. This is a this is a sweet little uh, like uh, tip or whatever uh, for those devices like the Unisender and this that have the. Uh, um, the MRS attachment point like located right on them. Uh, say you got a little goofy little scenario where you were mainly planning on working uh, MRS, but like maybe you got to get out on a limb or something a little farther or something. And uh, anyways, there's maybe there's going to be some friction uh, uh, branch you're not going to like uh, up above. Or, uh, so you can just real quick uh, pop you a couple wraps. There's multiple ways you could do it, but see here, I got like enough wraps where the, all the friction is on the rope. And, you know, obviously this is here in the event, it, it slips some, but uh, now I'm, uh, you know, it's like a basal anchored. So I can real quick do my, do my thing on uh, SRT and then come back and then uh, clip back in MRS. Uh, I don't use that feature a lot, but it just kind of, this is just for an example. Uh, I've only done it a handful of times. Uh, it's not really like always uh, a practical kind of thing, uh, but uh, that's an awesome uh, little like hack you can do with this device. And uh, one thing, one there's one more thing to love about it. But let's uh, clip in uh, MRS and kind of go up and uh, show how smooth. Talk about how smooth that is, too. Okay, we switched. Uh, we switched back over to MRS just off that branch there. And so I just kind of wanted to showcase uh, how, how awesome, uh, how quick, how quickly this uh, and relatively uh, effortless she uh, tends, how responsive it is. And when you go to tend, that swing arm kind of brings, when you go lift up, it like brings, it separates your rope from the hitch. So if you, you can even use uh, knots, you know, termination knots, double fisherman, anchor hitch uh bunt line whatever uh because it sort of went as it goes up you know it doesn't clash like on a hitch climber if you use knots they recommend against that because and i've done it myself you know uh, anchor hitch all the time because i didn't have spliced eyes and uh, I, I would have to babysit the hitch because the knot would always bump it and cause it to uh, fail to engage but not with this system and on my other rope curtain mantle uh, my samson mercury i uh i have to i don't have an eye on that so i would tie my anchor hitch and uh i've used it uh plenty and uh no issues so but anyways um just how uh, buttery smooth the performance is is amazing on uh mrs i love it it's uh this uh is better than at least in my in my experience this uh, device is uh better than my hitch than hitch climber i know the hitch climber is like the uh the budget friendly og kind of thing but uh i love uh i really really like how uh, how this thing performs in mrs it's just like it's so uh crispy smooth and responsive Get up in here. Get up in here a little bit and just quickly. Oh, that tenso. That tenso. So buttery. I love it. And it does it does beautifully too on a natural crotch. Still. Alrighty. Well. I hope uh
I hope uh, we drove uh, we drove the point home. Hopefully, we drove the point home about how uh, how awesome this thing is, and at least at the very least, how much I like it personally. I I love it. I don't like it. I just I love it. But oh yeah. It's a perfect daily driver for sure. It's the only device I need really anymore. I love the fact that it's like a, you know, hybrid kind of thing, uh, all in one. I don't have to change anything over to do either uh, setup. You know, MRS or SR SRS, it's ready to go. And uh, that still has that nice uh, blue collar feel of uh, rope on rope with the hitch cord. It's nice and uh, that though, just these two friction points, the dog bone and the slick pin inside there, uh, you know, is uh, it helps to keep, uh, it helps preserve uh, the life of your hitch cord. And also uh, you have a, the optional uh, feature with that plug uh, during a long SRS uh, descent, you know, to help uh, maintain. But, uh, Oh, we'll do. Let's uh, let's do a quick look uh, at the profile, and then maybe even the, when I get back to the ground, let's do. Uh, we can do a side by side uh, with the rope wrench. Cause here I have my hitch climber, eccentric with the uh, Arp Session, uh, the shorty. This thing is awesome, actually. That tether, uh, I'd recommend that. But we'll do. We'll set it up. We'll do also. We'll do like a comparison side by side of like how long it takes to put on and off the rope each one at least with the hitches that i tie and then uh the profile so uh and just the performance uh, otherwise i think i would probably still be on the rope wrench and hitch climber the hitch climber will always have a special place in my heart don't get me wrong but but this uh this outperforms it i just i gotta say it really does it outperforms it amazing i love it okay well i guess let's head on down and pop a little retrieve as you saver and uh then we can do a little side by side uh thing uh take a gander at uh, the setups of them all right so here we have our side by side uh rope wrench Fully, fully engaged. Next to our hitchhiker XF. So we have. Regardless, you have to use a carabiner and uh, to connect to your bridge. So we're gonna try and just like you know we're gonna count that in the system. But regardless, if you compare just device to device, there's a similar. You gotta start it at a similar point. But so you can see this is. This is, like I said earlier, this is that awesome, uh, what is it, Carolink tether from our obsession. Highly recommend if you uh, are a rope wrench ombre because it uh, it's uh, on and off. It's separate from your eye. So we're just, you know, a little Arb Session shout out. I love those guys. Uh, and that supplier, way better than uh, Uncle Cheryl and, uh, and tree stuff. Anyways, uh, this, this uh, tether, you know, a little little shout out about that tether i liked it but uh again just the way this uh the way this still this x this added little element of changing it out and all that change to change over to mrs and stuff just having to stow that it's just in the way that the um the device uh tends or the hitches and stuff would tend uh was a different story but we got a similar Similar size, so if you use the older, uh, my point was anyways, if you have the older, uh, uh, some older version of a tether, a different uh, rope wrench tether, you're actually gonna be just a hair bigger because this is like the shortest you can get as far as actually still functioning uh, with a hitch is this tether here from our obsession. Uh, so you're gonna be a little bit longer, not by a lot, so uh, so you're definitely gonna be up above uh, you're gonna be a bit bit more than what this hitchhiker is so the profile if like those who are kind of already used to working with something like this then uh that's not a big deal and to me i haven't noticed like it's it's not bad and the nice thing is too with this there's nothing like clunking you in the face so like the, at least sometimes you know the rope wrench can get a little bit frisky or uh, the rope runner even too can with its uh 
that the way the profile is to the side it can it's something to grab this this uh, this is really uh streamlined and smooth it's nice all right let's do like a little side by side uh uh setting them up like just to kind of compare the time not like in a hurry rushing like it's some uh contest or whatever but uh enough try and get capture try and capture this the best we can to get a decent comparison so i usually keep buying uh usually keep the device on the bridge on my bridge it's kind of it just stays on my saddle ready to go or sometimes it's uh left on my rope right at the top like uh like you would do with a zigzag i kind of have it ready to go so anyway so let's say we're uh we're walking up and uh we're gonna this is just a basic casual uh setup so we're gonna kind of have it something like that just daisy chain just so it doesn't fall off so it's just boom don't, I think Richard uh, just can do this in 29 seconds. He timed it just not even like going fast, like trying to purposely rush or anything, but just kind of just real casual. Boom, got my slick pin, my dog bone behind the rope, back around, give it a little extra snug. And now we go the opposite direction, uh, six wraps upward. Three, four, five, and a six. Worry about uh, setting them too, too much right away. Now we stick it through the other end of the dog bone. Now we can kind of get it a, get it a little snug, in our stevedore stopper knot. And we're ready to ready to roll. That ain't too bad on the old setup there. Okay, I guess same thing, kind of walking up, casual. Now I'm actually gonna tie uh, the same hitch. I used it on my, uh, I think it's the Catalan. Catalone, however you want to say it, kind of a cross between the Valdetan and the Catalyst. But uh, I'm actually, uh, in fairness, you know, trying to, uh, yeah, I use this on my lanyard, the same, it, it tends beautifully. This is sort of, sort of kind of make it fair. No, it's not. Apples to apples. Also trying not to uh, do anything any differently, I guess, than I would normally be setting this uh, device up to climb. I would actually just be tying a catalyst, to, in all fairness, to climb uh, right now, but this is uh, kind of the it's still a functional hitch. I think it's just a little bit too aggressive for this cord. But there, we're set up technically ready to rock. Even though that cord, uh, that hitch is, is uh, on the aggressive tight side. We are still uh, functioning. So there we have it. All right. Well, I appreciate everyone uh, for tuning in. Uh, so in a minute, hopefully we get some more... Uh, more footage here uh, and gear. There's a, I think there's a couple other gear things I'd like to do, but uh, life's pretty busy. Uh, it's fun. Uh, I get to work uh, where I'm, uh, where I'm working. Uh, get her cut. Uh, we got a, a pal finger, pal finger knuckle boom. So uh, I get to. Uh, it's, that's been a learning uh, curve in itself. Uh, the how the way they different. Uh, the knuckle booms uh, vary from a stick crane, you know, with cable. It's uh, been been a bit to get used to in certain situations, but I love them. Uh, pretty fun to work with. Just just some couple things you get used to. But anyways, uh, maybe we'll get some uh, good footage of that stuff soon. Uh, you just say yeah, I've been busy, so I uh, appreciate everyone for watching. Hopefully this was helpful uh, in uh, taking a look, uh, taking a, a good gander and getting a, a sneaky peek. Um, 
try before you buy sort of in a way uh but yeah josh man uh, recommends it 100 percent like i said four hitch it comes with uh four hitch cords and this, this is epic cord i really like it but uh four hitch cords uh to get you rolling so that no matter what rope you got you don't need to go out and buy a new rope to get going on it like you would if you wanted it in a kimbo or something like that thanks for watching